So I know we all have thought about picking up a 60% keyboard before, and I'm sure what came to your mind is let me get the Ann Pro 2. But then you're probably just like, nah, 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 you know what? I actually think I want the Ducky one too many. Then you're ready to buy it, and then next thing you come across is the Ducky Mecha Mini. And you're like, holy smokes, I want this thing, it's fully metal, 60%, it's stinking awesome. But then maybe you stumbled across my review on the Ducky Mecha Mini right there, and I suggested you the Dirt God Hayden 68 to 65% keyboard. And you're like, all right, that looks pretty cool, that's a nice package, but dang it, I really want a 60% keyboard. So I've been telling a lot of you in the comments, hey, just hold out for a week. I got something coming for you that's better than any of them. It knocks all of them off the board right here. The board, like keyboard. But anyways, I'm telling you, and that's what we have today. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm trying to build up the anticipation right here. Just making you wait and kind of building it up. Is it working? Or most of you like, dude, just get on with the video. That is the Durgod and HK Gaming Venus 60% gaming keyboard. Hey. We're gonna be doing a giveaway for this too, worldwide. All right, so first off in your box, you're gonna get your keyboard, you get a little dust cover on it with some Dirt God branding over there. You're gonna get two USB cables right here, and they do connect USB-C in the back of the keyboard, which we'll get into later, but you can get an A to C over here, and then a C to C. And I know with the Dirt God Hades, a lot of people question the, the C to C being really short, but what I really realized with the C to C, I use PC and Mac, and we all know with Mac, your connections are right on the back of the monitor right there. So it's Really nice having the short one to go bam in the back of the keyboard and then into the back of the Mac right there. Really nice and that's why I think this one is a lot shorter compared to the standard one which is longer so you can run it from your desk down into your PC. Anyways, also in your box you can get a wire keycap puller here with some Durgat Brandon, a little sticker and then a cable tie and then you can give you just like this little uh, mouse pad coaster. But it's actually it's just like a little sample of the uh, Durgat mouse pad. I don't know if it's coming out or it's gonna but it really feels like a HyperX uh, mouse pad. It's pretty solid, but as of right now, I think I'm gonna use it as a coaster. You can get the Venus in Gatoron, Kale Box, or Cherry MX, which is, I have this version in Cherry MX Silence, which I have been absolutely hooked on Cherry Red Silence lately. Now I was also told there is a dampener underneath the keyboard right here inside of the body. I honestly don't know. I'm using Cherry MX Silence again, so it's really hard for me to tell the difference. I get a very, very mild ping if I get very close to the keyboard, but again, it's so hard for me to tell if there's actually a dampener in there because again, I'm using the Silence right here. You guys wanna take it apart? Let's take it apart and see what we have inside. All right, so we are all apart right here. Now that was my first time ever taking a keyboard apart right here. I was incredibly nervous. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, how many of you cringe when I bust out the pliers to pull this out right there? I sure did. I actually bent it a little bit right there. I was able to bend it back, very mild bend. But uh, again, when I just tilted it upside down or shook it, it wouldn't budge at all. So I didn't know, really know what to do. But uh, hey, I cringed right there with you guys. But yes, as far as our main test here, what we were trying to figure out if that sound dampener was down in there. And yes, it is. You have this big piece of cloth it's actually quite thick I don't know if you saw it in the camera really well but yes it is right down there again it probably doesn't really benefit me much again because I'm using Cherry MX silent but if you're using another switch I'm sure it will kind of dampen that ping again going from the metal to the metal right there now one other thing we found out in there as well is this little plastic piece um, if you know what this is for inside of the keyboard again this was down in the housing of the body right down there first as you saw and then the sound dampener was over that so if you know what that little plastic piece is for please let me know because 
just kind of curious, like, what the heck's the purpose of it? Also, since we have it apart, your switches are soldered on here. They are not hot swappable. Again, they are soldered on right there. Again, this is my first time doing it. This is incredibly cool. This is just like, you, you know, you get kind of nerdy when you just start taking stuff apart and seeing what's inside. Again, this is my first time doing it, and I'm just incredibly giddy here. Like, even when the camera's not rolling, I'm just sitting here just staring at it like, just, just wow, just an awe. But now for the not so fun part, I gotta put the whole stinking thing back together. Now the keycaps are also double shot PBT and they are cherry profile. So a little bit more low profile than your standard keyboard keycap right there. It took me a couple play sessions to get used to it again, just cause it sat a little bit lower right there. But now I really can't tell the difference. Honestly, going back to the regular keycap, they feel awfully large. But talking about the double shot PBT keycaps and everything, let's go right into the RGB. And I actually just recently adjusted my light over here, cranked it up quite a bit and it's beaming right down on us here and still look at that RGB. Like, holy smokes, that looks so good. But yes, you do still get the occasional, with the double shot PBT keycaps, you get that occasional little black spot on a certain key here and there. Like we see with pretty much just all double shot PBT keycaps, you do get that here as well. All right, so now the stabilizers, and this really took me by surprise with this board. Number one, they are lubed right there. Maybe a little over lubed, because as you can see down here on my space bar, I have some lube up in my space bar, and then right down there by the alt key. So maybe a little over lube. I don't know if that happened in shipping or whatnot, but just check underneath your keys and double check if you got a little splattered on the board there. But as far as the stabilizers itself, just look at this space bar. That thing does not budge one single bit. Like, holy smokes, that is just amazing. One other thing I wanna show you about that space bar I forgot to mention about the keycaps there, just look at this angle right there. Do you see how it kinda of rolls up? Might be hard to catch on camera, but just see how it rolls up right there. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I start playing right there, you got those keycaps and the space bar just kinda of jams right into the side of your thumb. I don't know, maybe just me. The only other space bar I've ever used like this that really flows like that and is super comfortable is the space bar that comes in with the uh, put-in HyperX keycaps right there. I've honestly always took that space bar and put it on whatever keyboard I've been using. But this one has it right here and it just feels incredibly cozy. This entire keyboard is metal, the entire frame. And it's one piece right there. So it's real nice. You get no flex whatsoever. I mean, this thing could honestly be used as a weapon. Comes in at 766 grams on my scale. And let me tell you what, this thing is heavy, stinking duty. Now on the bottom of the board here, you do have four very big rubber feet. And this thing does not budge on you one single bit right there. But you do not have any other other pop out feet so this is the size you get very nice ergonomic incline right there but again that's kind of what you're stuck with now also as far as your USB-C port on the back as you can see it goes in that little hole right there and then your USB-C cable is in it so it's really nice you don't have any jiggle or wiggle in there because again it's stuck in that hole right there but the only stinker about that is say if you have USB-C cable you want to use a custom one or whatever I buy colored ones off Amazon and just slap them in you know but none of them fit in here because again the USB-C port is a little bit thicker than that hole so that's kind of a stinker you got to make sure you have one that's small enough to fit in there or you're just going to be stuck with the Duragon one. Now let's go ahead and talk about features and functions on the Venus keyboard right here. Pretty much the exact same as many of the other 60% boards we have used, right? So many different shortcuts and functions compiled into this one little tiny keyboard and they can get quite confusing so I highly recommend you keeping your manual on your desk for the first couple weeks when you start using the board. But it's pretty cool. You can control everything on the keyboard straight out of the box from your RGB, your audio controls over there and everything, your lights on and off, your brightness, your speed. You also have a tap function. You got function one and two, and you bam, you just hit with that tap function. It's gonna control your arrows right onto the keyboard, which will be your function one, two, control, and shift if you activate that tap. But now talking about all these functions and shortcuts on the board right here, you can jump into the Durgod Hera, Hera, whatever software right there and adjust this entire keyboard. As far as your RGB, you can put five different profiles of RGB on this board right here. And again, tweak it up to whatever you like right there. Adjust your tap, adjust every single function on this board to your like and every single key. And it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Once you dive into it, it's almost a little bit different than some of our basic Corsairs or Steel Series softwares, you know. But once you dive into it, it's pretty stinking easy. And it's really cool because after you get everything set onto your board, again, as far as your profiles, again, you can adjust them right on the board right there. So set up three profiles per game if you like. 
bam, save it on there. Go on and delete the software. You never need to use it again. Everything's saved right onto the board. Now, something else that I think is really cool, if you can see these little lights right on the top right up here, they are set as your uh, caps and then your profile straight out the box. But again, you can get right into that software and adjust them to whatever you like, whether it be your profiles, your windows lock like I have right here, or your caps. Really nice to have that notification on such a compact board right here. All right, so what did you think about the Venus right there? My personal opinion, it is the best 60% key keyboard I have gotten my hands on yet. And just to sum it up, why I say it's the best is again, just the options with it, number one, as far as all the switches you can get right there. And the price is right, it's competitive with the other 60% keyboards we talked about. Starting at around uh, 99, going up to 130, depending on switch right there. But the build, as far as it being a completely metal, the double shot PPT keycaps, the RGB, as you can see right now, again, is incredibly crisp. And I know the Ducky 1 too many and the Ann Pro 2 are extremely popular, especially the Ducky 1 2, right? Ducky's really made a place for itself after Tfue using it, right? But please, trust you, me, whenever you're shopping for a 6% keyboard, check out the Dirt God in HK Gaming Venus right here. You will be glad you did. And heck, you might be able to just check one out for free because we will be doing a giveaway for the Dirt got an HK game and Venus keyboard right here and the giveaway is worldwide so for info on the giveaway just click on the link right down in the description right there find out how to enter and good luck but hey thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the dirt got an HK game and Venus 60% game and keyboard right here I hope I was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos hey I hope I catch you in the next one bye now